What's up everybody? Welcome to I Wanna Do That. So I ordered, can you see me? Yeah. I ordered from Kickstarter back in June, July, uh, the Yes Welder MP500. MP200. MP200. <laughs> okay. So over the Christmas break, over the Christmas break, I was out of town and get a notification that I had a package and I was like, Whoa, what is that? Cause I wasn't expecting anything cause it's been so long and it finally came in. So we're excited. Uh, we do a lot of things here and we wanted something that we could take around and, and use, uh, use everywhere for, you know, TIG, for MIG, for wire feed and, and to cut. And we uh, this popped up on Kickstarter. And I was like, "Damn, I'm getting it!" So I ordered it, came in, and let's go ahead and unbox it. So I already actually unboxed it. So this is the box, and this is the unit. So, ta-da! I want you to pay for it. It was, I think, five ninety nine. So. How much I, is it now? It's nine eight ninety nine. I believe. I think it was nine fifty. It was nine fifty. So it came with all of it, bro. All of it. So it came with your welder and cutter, power adapter, hose for your TIG and your rig. Wire brush cleaner, and this is for the air hose. This is air hose for the TIG or for the uh, plasma. Okay, that's kind of cheesy, isn't it? Yeah, it is kind of cheesy. So we got it's like a water hose. It is braided line though, braided hose. So that's cool. We have our ground clamp. Feels pretty good. Good looking connection. Our st stick lead. Proper definition for that. The bzz wire. The bzz wire. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Okay. So that's our, our ground and our stick set up. We have. Looks like some sort of instructions. And a sticker. And a sticker. All that, all that time I had like, oh look, I got two limited edition Kickstarter stickers. Cause I actually paid for this. They didn't send it to me. Put them on the fridge. <laughs> all right, got our water feed leads. Looks pretty good, feels pretty good. Nice solid wire. And it's actually a gas setup, not just not just, not just close, close quarter. It's gas, it's made. So yeah, you can see the the gas port there. Alright. And the one good. we're excited about is the actual TIG, the TIG setup. And so this is what we we're excited about. So comes with your nozzles and your in your um, consumables. Yes, your consumables. And your hose with your gas hookup. And you'll have to get a regulator separately. A flow meter for your MIG and your TIG. And so we actually went to the welding shop and picked that up. And along with this, you're gonna need uh, argon, straight argon for TIG, and 75-25 argon for MIG. So, leads for TIG, and what else we got in here? Oh yeah, plasma. Yeah, I like the way the torch setup is on this. And 
a nice long lead for nice long lead for the plasma. So we'll get it all set up. Get it all set up and uh, give it a go. Let's see, what we're gonna start with first. Tig. Probably Mig. Okay. I'd say we start with Mig just for the simple fact that I can actually Mig weld okay. Okay. I'm gonna so, learn to take weld off of this machine. I don't know how well that's gonna be good. So I did come with uh, did come with a regulator for the plasma. Comes, comes with a couple hose fittings. And uh, I ordered the consumable pack, so I've got plenty of shield, uh, shields and nozzles and O-rings and everything else. And uh, tips? Anybody need a tip? Just the tip? Just the tip. And more consumables. So that's about it. Let's get it. Uh, and more consumables. Let's get it set up for one of these functions and we'll give it a go. So we should be able to give you a comparison. We have a Crossfire Pro plasma table uh, that we just ordered recently. Hopefully we can do a video on it, uh, just showing how it cuts and this and that. We tried to do an unboxing, it didn't work too well. It's like eight hours of uh, unboxing. That's beside the point. Anyways, we have a titanium uh, 45 amp plasma cutter on that machine. So we can do a comparison between the titanium 45 and this, just to kind of show you the different cuts. And we also have a titanium uh, flux core welder that we can kind of show you the difference between the flux core welder uh, of the titanium, which is Harbor Freight's brand, and this Yes welder. What's really cool about this, like Anthony said though, is that the that this is all in one we do a lot of a lot of stuff on site right wouldn't you say i would say <laughs> i would say we do a lot of stuff on site a lot of stuff on site like the containers we do custom container builds so to be able to go out on that site uh you know we have the tig i don't know that we'd actually use out there but we have our plasma cutter and so to be able to cut some of our stuff and then either stick weld it up or or MIG weld it right there on site, all with one machine. We might be on to something. So, let's try and set it up though, like Anthony said. What do we got in here? Oh, the wheels. Oh, I wanna open up that door and see. Okay. All it came with, as far as that goes. Hey, can the So this is metric size, so we'll have to see. So the point, point 0.8 should be an 030. Okay. Point 0.9 should be 035. Okay. And it did come with two wheels, a smooth and a corrugated. I don't know, we'll have to look in the book and see what they recommend for what. Goodness. So what we got going on here? Looks like. Okay, so show them that. Yeah, so it's got a bus bar. It's got a bus bar in here. Here, pop this up. That's kind of in the way, but you can hold that down. It's got a bus bar in here, a copper bus. If you're using the gas, you gotta go from your copper bus over to the positive terminal. If you're using a gasless, you would turn, uh, take that copper bus from your center over to your negative terminal in there. Uh, we'll probably just have this set up for gas, because like I said, we have a um, flux core welder already. So we'll probably leave this one set up for gas. And then it did come with uh, two different wheels. And then on the front of it, what do we have? So here's all of our setups for our different torches and pretty cool cover shield is for the digital readout. I like that. It's so fucking the, clean, the dude. The point eight is for the 030. Yeah. And then the point .9 is for the 035. Okay, so just like I thought there. Lift this up just a hair. It's got welding perimeters and all that. Okay, what about the, does it say anything about, because one wheel is smooth, oh, and one is corrugated, or one is, 
As for material thickness greater than a quarter inch, adopting a groove weld is preferred. <coughs> Use a multi-pass welding process to ensure proper penetration for solid wire use PCEP and shielding gas. For flux four, use PCE and shielding gas is not needed for flux four, but can be used. Well, I'm saying one of these should be, this is probably gasless. Yeah. The one with the grooves in it. Yeah. And this is probably gas because this has the flux core. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yep. I would assume, should show you on here. No. It should, but it does not. Okay. Just a assumption, you know what they say about those. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we have a smooth wheel and a grooved wheel. Now, I would assume that this would be, the grooved wheel would be for flux cord wire uh, because the grooves are slightly larger. And then the smooth wheel, I would assume is for the gas wire. Leave it in the comments if you know better than me. So point eight, it's these are metric point eight and point nine here in the good old US would be point eight would be 030, point 0035. We're gonna stick with the smooth wheel that they had set up on the gas setup. Should be able to do yeah. So we can do the two pound spools, the smaller spools, or you can do the larger spools which that's pretty cool. I don't like the nut on there. No, it'd be nice if it had a um, T-handle. Uh, we'll probably do that, huh? Yeah. Probably get a T-handle to replace that just for a quick change. But I think, yeah, see you can do, that would be the small spool there. Oh, it is, okay, so it is a, so you should be able to do a two pound spool on that or the uh, larger the what is it a five pound spool i think on this one but so that would just you would just do the uh the washer and the nut with the spring and then this would be for the larger which we don't have so we'll set this off to the side for now y'all yep pro professional oh, i could what's that knob to i don't know that's right oh, that was me that was me that's the uh, we're going O3. We need to find that wire, huh? Okay, yep. If not, we'll be taking our plasma. Oh, yeah, we could take. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Everybody, please subscribe and uh, hit that like button. If you can, you know, anything counts. Trying to recarpet this boat. <laughs>